On July 18th, 2025, a strong atmospheric setup would lead Environment Canada to issue a moderate risk of severe weather across much of Alberta with the potential for supercells, followed by a transition into a strong linear system. Hello folks, so we're in, uh, we're near Bottrell, Alberta right now. We're looking at some bubblers going up as they move over, over the mountain ridges into the foothills, and as they do so, they will intensify as they move eastward. Uh, main threats today will be hail and wind, but tornadoes can't be ruled out, uh, especially when you have a potentially potent supercell environment. In the early afternoon, northwest of Calgary, a severe cell would begin to exhibit supercellular traits. A large, menacing wall cloud loomed underneath the churning base. I moved to a different location as the storm quickly began to intensify. Powerful bolts of lightning zapped the ground as the storm crept closer. The wall cloud would dissipate and redevelop several times, a few of which seemed to come close to tornado genesis near Bottrell, Alberta. As the storm began to enter the western Albertan foothills, it continued uninterrupted through the rough terrain, scraping against the hillsides as it moved east. The storm was rotating incredibly fast and looked to be preparing to drop a tube as winds converged in the valley near Ghost Lake, Alberta. Okay, 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 okay. I'm seeing some, I'm seeing some funnels here, guys. Very sporadic. We're gonna have to move here because it's about to start pouring. At around 8 o'clock, a large bowl-shaped funnel began to appear behind the heavy precipitation. <laughs> Seeing some more spots where it's, it's trying to like make some contact with the ground. It's really... Wow! Oh my god! I darted to the southeast as the set of storms began to conglomerate into a powerful bow echo set to track directly through Calgary, Alberta's most populous city. Going through town will slow us down a little bit, but... I was kind of a goober thinking I could outrun this thing, so... As I contemplated my next move, the storm spent no time waiting as it quickly accelerated east towards my position. Torrential rain and incredibly powerful wind slammed into my vehicle as I headed towards the highway. Eventually, after making a brief stop at my house to make sure it hadn't taken any damage, I followed the destructive storm east through the Calgary Metro. What kind of maneuver is that, my friend? You're signaling right. What are you doing? Go right then, buddy.
incredibly heavy rain flooded roads throughout Calgary and caused some significant wind damage, particularly to trees. Look at that. Wow, guys. After a long and intense day of chasing, I called it a day and began heading back home.